we might try to construct a regular expression that excludes certain possibilities. It's useful to remember B positive. As a general rule, it's better to focus on what's included. For example, let our symbols at be A and B, and let our language be all strings that do not contain A A. What can we do to avoid including A A? First, we could put down any number of B's that we want. Now, suppose we put down an A. Then we must put down a B following. So we actually can't put down A. We have to put down A, B. And remember, a choice that is no choice is no choice. And so what we can put down is a B or an AB any number of times, and this gives us a regular expression for our language. Or, for example, we could try to find a language that consists of all strings with exactly two Bs or no Bs at all. So let's think about this. The strings with no Bs are those with any number of As. If we have exactly two Bs, they're either adjacent or separated by some number of As. So remember that in our notation, A star is any number, including zero. So these strings with two Bs separated are some number of As, followed by a B, followed by some number, possibly zero, As, followed by a B, followed by some more As. And so a regular expression for L is, or we could try to find a regular expression for all strings that contain exactly one occurrence of B, B. Such expressions are concatenations of three strings. A string that doesn't contain B, 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 B itself, and another string that doesn't contain B, B. So we already know how to write regular expressions for strings that don't contain a particular substring. So that would be A plus B, A star, B, B, A plus B, A star. Or is it? So a good rule, break the algorithm. So is there any way that we could get more than one occurrence of BB from a regular expression like this? Well, we can't get an expression BB for the first part. And since the first part has to end in A, the two BBs here are going to be the first occurrence of the pair BB. However, in the last part, it's possible for this last part to begin with B. And if it begins with B, then we get an expression of the form something BB BA, which actually has two occurrences of the pair BB. The first two Bs are the first occurrence and the second and third Bs are actually the second occurrence. So we need to make sure that we don't begin the second expression with a B, so we need to put in at least one A after the BB. And so a regular expression for L is, or is it? And the important thing here to realize is we do need to be careful with things like the plus notation. Remember, this forces us to include at least one A afterwards. And since we must include an A after the BB, we're excluding strings that end on BB. And so this means that after the BB, we can put down either A plus A plus B A star, or we can end the string by putting down the empty string. And so that gives us our regular expression for our language.